So in that last video where we first introduced the version 2 Grin all-axle hub motor, we showed how the cable exiting on the disc side of the motor allowed us to support some really unconventional installations like Tadpole tricycles with two front hub motor drives. But the point of the all-axle motor from the get-go has been about supporting all of the different fork varieties that are out there and all the conventional forks, not just unusual ones. So these days, there's an increasing number of fork standards that exist on bicycles. And with the Grin all-axle motor, we're able to have one hub motor that's compatible with every single one of these forks through the use of a few different inserts to fit in the stock axle built into the hub. So we're going to start with the most common type of fork up until very recently, and that was a quick-release front fork. So a quick-release fork has a 100 millimeter spacing between the left and the right dropout, and the dropout is a slot, so you can slide the hub right inside it. And this is the conventional bicycle wheel that anyone who's owned a bike is familiar with. For the Grin all-axle motor, if you want to install it in a normal slotted dropout fork like that, we have 9 millimeter quick-release adapters. These fit inside either end of the all-axle axle and provide us a 9 millimeter diameter small shaft protrusion with a 5 millimeter hollow center into which you can put any regular bicycle skewer. So by putting those adapters inside here, I've now converted our Grin all-axle hub motor into a quick-release front hub. So this will fit inside the fork exactly like any normal quick-release system allowing you to very rapidly install and remove the wheel um, and use the existing skewers that you have on your bicycle. Um, if you're concerned about anti-theft concerns, there's a lot of uh, anti-theft skewers that require special tools for tightening them. But if you want the convenience of a quick-release wheel to fix flat tires or to take the hub off when you're transporting the bike, it's quite convenient that the Grin motor supports that. So in the Grin all-axle motor, all of the torque of the motor is being transmitted through a torque arm. So we don't have any concern about spreading the dropouts in here, and we're not so concerned about the axle nuts being super tight because we have a uh, torque arm system, a frame clamp here, that's gonna hose clamp and secure itself to the blade of the fork, and that will align with the arm coming off the motor, and you can then insert a bolt between these two pieces to securely lock the motor axle against any rotation. Quick release. Uh, bicycle forks are still very common, but almost any new medium and high range bicycle these days has switched over to a through axle standard. So through axle bicycle forks don't have a slot inside the dropout where a hub axle can slide in. Instead, the axle that supports a bicycle hub comes in from the side. Now, the most common through axle standard these days on mountain bikes is a 15 millimeter by 100 through axle. So this we call it a QR15, um, and this has the same spacing between the dropouts as your standard quick release, that's 100 millimeters between here and here, but instead of a small diameter spindle, you now have a solid 15 millimeter shaft, and that provides a much stiffer fork interface so that when you are cornering and, and, uh, and putting side forces on the wheel, you don't have the wheel able to flop back and forth a little bit, it's held much more rigid. So if you have a fork with a QR15 by 100, you can fit the all-axle motor using our QR15 adapters. So these adapters simply have a 15 millimeter inside hole, put those inserts in the axle. Now the hollow through here is 15 millimeters and this should be a drop-in fit for the fork. So there we have it, the Grin all-axle motor installed in a 15 millimeter standard through axle so there's another 15 millimeter through axle fork standard, and that's called the 15 millimeter boost sizing. So this is just like the fork we just showed you, but instead of having 100 millimeter space between the dropouts, it's now expanded to 110. And they did this in order to support hubs with a wider flange spacing so that you could get better triangulation, especially when you're doing large diameter wheels. So if you have a 15 millimeter through axle boost size, then instead of using the two insert adapters that we showed you for your standard 15 millimeter through axle, the right side spacer is extended an extra 10 millimeters. So these are the 15 millimeter boost adapters that give you a 110 millimeter spacing between the left and the right dropouts. We'll now be able to fit the motor in the boost size fork. So one thing you'll notice when you do the boost sizing with this extra spacer here is that the torque arm has a larger gap to the body of the fork. Um, so when you use this hose clamp torque arm piece, we're going to also need to have some kind of a spacer between the torque arm and the frame clamp in order to make up that distance. And that should be included in the torque arm kit from Grin. 
So the last fork I have here is the largest, and that's the 20 millimeter through axle. Now the 20 millimeter through axle was the original through axle standard they developed for bikes, but they developed it for downhill mountain bikes when you have heavy bicycles with a large amount of suspension travel and they needed the stiffest possible platform. So it serves that purpose well, but most of the newer mountain bikes are designed to be lighter and more nimble and tend to use the QR15 standard. But for fast and powerful e-bikes, the high high degree of travel available with QR20 forks is quite appealing. So the 20 millimeter through axle standard is 110 millimeters between the uh, inside dropout faces. So if you have this style of fork, the adapter for the Grin Hub maintains the same 20 millimeter inside diameter, but we're adding an extra five millimeters on either side. So the spacer that goes on the non-disc side just snaps over top and the spacer that goes on the disc side actually screws on to the bolt holes that exist at the end of the axle. So with four little countersunk screws, we can now extend the length of the axle by an extra 10 millimeters, five millimeters on either side here. So on the original 20 millimeter through axle standard, the position of the disc rotor is 15 millimeters from the inside face of the dropout, and that's what we positioned with our stock QR20 adapters. There's also a new 20 millimeter boost sizing for through axle forks, and the boost size maintains the same 110 millimeters between the dropout faces, but the position of the disc rotor is shifted five millimeters closer to the left fork blade. So if you have a boost size 20 millimeter through axle, you can still use our same standard adapters. All you need to do now is put a five millimeter spacer under the disc rotor, and that will put the disc in the right alignment with your caliper. And that way you can fit every single imaginable fork using this one Grin motor standard. So in case that didn't get you dizzy with options, there's yet another through axle standard that's on the market now, and that's a 12 millimeter through axle. So this has come out specifically for road bikes where the weight of the 15 or 20 millimeter through axle standard was a little bit heavier than necessary. So a road bike uses a 12 millimeter through axle, but it has the same 100 millimeter dropout spacing that you're used to. So if you do have a road bike with through axles, you're gonna need these QR12 adapters that are just like the QR15s, but with a 12 instead of a 50 millimeter inside, they would snap into either side of your all axle hub motor and then provide you with compatibility for a through axle road fork. So between all of these adapter options, there's pretty much not a single fork out there that couldn't be electrified using our all axle hub motor. I shouldn't say that, there's yet one more standard um, and that's fat bikes. So I showed you in the 15 millimeter through axles how we had a 15 by 100 and the 15 by 110 boost. There's also a 15 millimeter by 150 standard for fat bikes that need to accommodate much larger tires so that you can even electrify your fat bike through axles with this one Grin all axle motor.